Greetings, greetings, beautiful Pisces beings. It is your girl, Kiandi, a.k.a. Wild Moon Child. Yes. Welcome to 2021. Yes. Well, we are 11 days into 2021, and I hope that you are all doing well. I hope that you had an opportunity to go out and look at the Great Conjunction on December 21st with Jupiter and Saturn coming together um, and creating the Star of Bethlehem or the Great Conjunction, right? Well, those two planets are all about growth and expansion. So 2021, or the theme for 2021 is growth and expansion. So we're gonna be feeling those energies and that shift growing and expanding the things that we're uh, putting a lot of energy into. Anywhere our focus is, our energy is going to go and therefore grow and expand that, you know. But you have to also be mindful, right, that with that, it grows and it expands whatever we're giving our focus to, be it good or bad. So we want to be mindful of that and make sure that what's growing and expanding in our lives is what we want to see, right? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> we don't want a whole bunch of growth and expansion of boo. Okay. So, <clears throat> welcome back, Trivies. All of those that are new to my channel, welcome. And I thank you for allowing me to do this Celtic Cross reading for you this month. I, too, am a Pisces. However, I'm... I'm not going to read this message for myself. I'm going to read it for you all, the collective consciousness. I'm sure this will resonate in some way with me. However, um, I'm doing it for you. So uh, thank you to all of those that have donated to my channel, those that have subscribed to my channel, and those that have gotten readings from me or bought my merchandise from Wild Moon Child Style on Etsy. I thank you profusely and without further ado. Um, the first card that I'm going to pull is going to be our overall energy coming into 2021 and into January. This is the momentum of what is to come, right? The start of our growth and expansion. Do remember all of these messages may not resonate with you. This is a reading for the collective consciousness of the sign of Pisces. So you chew the meat and spit out the bones. Take what is for you and don't force what does not fit. Okay. If you would like a private reading, I am still offering them. All of that is in the description box below. Ancestors, please give me clear and concise messages for the collective consciousness of the sign of Pisces as they traverse time and space through January 2021. The first card that I want to pull is their overall energy. Okay. I didn't get to see what it was, but spirit. Overall energy for the collective consciousness of the sun of Christ. Still, it feels. Yeah. Okay. What is the challenge for the collective consciousness of the sun of Pisces? The challenge that we'll need to overcome this month. past energy. <laughs> I'll try to put that. I think I tried to put that. I don't know if that was the same card. <laughs> Let me put that right mm. 
what is crowning this at this time. So. And I'll take this too. And what is in the near future? The collective consciousness, the sign of Pisces. What is in the near future for us? is in the subconscious, the collective of the sign of Pisces is on our subconscious mind at this time sphere. Thank you. All right, and what is your advice for the collective consciousness of the sign of Pisces? Month of January 2021. Advice from Spirit. Get your advice. Mm, thank you. What is the external influence for the collective consciousness? The sign of Pisces. What is your external influence? Who external to the self? What external to the self will influence Pisces? All right. Their hopes and or their fears. January 2021. Hopes and or fears of the collective consciousness. And what is the potential outcome? What's the possible outcome as it stands today for the collective consciousness of the sign of Pisces? What's the outcome, Spirit? energy coming into January and the energy that is going to carry us through is the <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. Hmm, let me see. Nine of Pentacles. Mm. Near completion. Doing a lot of messaging. I'm getting from this from the um, the hawk in the picture that was like those little messenger birds so a lot of texting back and forth um, um, inboxing a lot of messages but whatever it is it is growing something tangible so um, uh, this could be in any area and I mean it could be a relationship it could be you know job related um, relationships um, but it's something that is you've put a lot of time and effort into already uh, so that's what's going to be carrying you through March. That's going to be a focus. Um, our overall energy coming in is right. Is the um, is the uh, ten of of wands, and the ten of wands is like carrying that heavy burden. It's like doing a lot of work. This person is is stopping and putting those dang on uh, sticks down, or at ease, at rest, because we've done a lot of work. This is something, like I said, has been going on for quite some time. However, it has been lucrative in some way. It's been, um, it's either brought in some type of finances or, um, you know, some type of relationship, something that is fulfilling, but it's going to be something tangible uh, for us. However, it can become burdensome when we've done something for you know, we've put a lot of effort into this to get to the the uh, nine of pentacles. I mean, the ten is the stage of completion. 
However, we can have this type of burnout if we're not able to, you know, delegate the job, really stick to a routine, the amount of time that we're offering to it, because it can um, cause us to have a completion. This is a completion of carrying that energy, of feeling that we have to overwork, feeling that we have to um, keep pushing through, um, even though our body is telling us it's time to put this down for a second, you know, gather yourself again, take the rest that you need, put, but, but the focal point, the emphasis being on, put that down for me, you know, refocus yourself, regather yourself, regroup. <clears throat> and that is our overall energy coming into this month. Now, what is our challenge this month? It's the Ace of, of Wands. Finding that passion again. Not making it so burdensome to do what it is that has been bringing us a lot of joy or we wouldn't have put a lot of effort into it. However, when we are really forcing it, 11-11, when we're really forcing things to to grow and to change sometimes we don't take that time the self-care that we took before we started this journey to get really clear and concise with ourselves what are we doing it for are we doing it for money or are we doing it because it's something that we're truly passionate about which is what Juan's energy is you know this is our passion this is what's fueling us to me if this were a reading for myself I would say, you know, yes, I've been working myself a lot. I'm not really honoring the time to just go and lay down because I feel obligated to do so many things because I've seen how it has been come tangible in my life, you know, from, you know, the donations from you all, hint, hint, <laughs> you know, but donations from people that are getting tarot card readings, um, from, um, you know, my jewelry line, I mean, I see the, the tangible results. And, and I also understand that uh, I'm human. <laughs> and sometimes I will go beyond that humanness and really push myself to the extreme to the point where you don't know if this person is just taking a break or time out or has collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> under the pressure of just carrying so many things but this person is passionate they have the dedication they have the drive they want to complete the, the mission however our challenge is to honor this plant that we 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 set into motion we see the potential in it however we can't grow it and 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 give it its best quality if we are not putting ourselves first and honoring the times and spirit the same. Good job. You got some, you know, I've got you straight. You're good. Don't feel obligated to just keep going and mowing yourself down to, you know, until you just fall out from exhaustion when you really could have paced yourself. You really could have honored the process and honor, you know, when it's time to put it down and honor you. <laughs> right. The recent past. <clears throat> yeah, the Knight of Wands. Again, that very passion driven energy. Um, we have a lot of Wands energy in our reading as Pisces. You know, feeling obligated, feeling like we have to push through no matter what, 1414. We have to just keep pushing ourselves to the brink. You know, we see greatness in ourselves. We see the potential in ourselves. We see what we can gain. We see what we can grow. But we also have to honor that, um, you know, spirit is offering us, you know, an abundance of this. This isn't a little flame. This is not something that won't last. This is a fire that will grow. <laughs> However, it does not have to just engulf everything in a day. You know, fuel the fire. It will move itself. It will fuel itself, but it's not going to burn itself out either. 
So, <clears throat> between the Knight of Wands is that really fast moving energy still, like still going and going and going. Yes, we have that time of rest and then it's boom. You know, in our recent past, we were pushing, we were pushing and pushing and pushing. And what that led to is this, <laughs> this energy that we're in right now coming in is just this heavy, okay. I got to keep going. I got to keep going because I see what it can do. And I'm afraid if I stop, then this is going to stop coming in. You know? <laughs> what is crowning us at this time? <laughs> Wands again. Wands. Passion. <laughs> you got the, um, the King of Wands. The King of Wands is, you know, all about what fuels them passionately what makes them move what makes them get up what are they fighting for they know exactly what they're fighting for growth expansion abundance financial abundance stability the overall energy A lot of us aren't focused on love. I'm not seeing anything as of yet. Just talking about that. I don't generalize my readings. I speak what is coming through at the time. And um, our focus is on some type of stability, some type of tangible, um, stable ground to build upon. And what we're using is that Knight of Wands energy. We're using it and we're moving through. We are creating things. We are being very creative at this time. Creating a lot of abundance for ourselves. You know, growing what we've already gained coming in. Because this is also... Um, Having the strength with the lion in this card. To 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 balance. But this is a night that is 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 fueled by their passions. It's not going to make any moves that are out of alignment with what it's um, what it's seeking. Mm -hmm. Let me see what's going on in our near future. In the near future, we got the world. So we we've set the intention. We've got the purpose. We've got the drive. We've got the action. But we do need to honor. The time to rest, the time to sit it down for a moment, gather ourselves up, get clear and concise, um, telling spirit, this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I want to pursue. This is what I want to grow and expand in my life. Mm -hmm. And this, in the near future, is spirit saying, so shall it be. Mm -hmm. Where is that? What I'm seeing is a lot of the same energy with this lion. This lion kept drawing my attention in this card. And then with the world, we have the lion as well. Seeing things from a different perspective, having the strength to conquer our fears, to go after what it is we want to create. This person is touching their hands together. It's like the Midas touch. We have that. But we have to honor this time that we've put this burden down, you know, 
how we've perceived our way forward. You know. Oh, we got another. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm loving it. What is on our subconscious mind? Growing our wealth. It's all about growth and expansion on a, on stability, uh, financial stability, um, wealth, abundance. <laughs> This was on our subconscious mind. This is um, very much in line with what is in our, what is crowning us, creating this. This is the alchemy in us, creating things, moving forward, taking action. Ooh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. What is the advice from spirit? The advice from spirit is. Um, Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. <laughs> wish fulfillment. Wish granted. You can chill. Everything is okay. I got you. I hear you. I hear you. Now, I can't say this. He was off to a little rocky start, a little slow start. But we have the Ace of Wands, the World, the Ace of Pentacles. So we have a lot of completions and a lot of abundance coming in, growth and expansion. Beautiful energy, beautiful, beautiful energy. Our external influences ourselves <laughs> our own energy you know we're going to look at ourselves different we've never seen ourselves in this in this place you know we've never had that freedom to flow to live our lives and truly move forward in a way that is driven by how it is affecting us emotionally how it is bringing in you know, how our connection to the spiritual realm, being water signs, first and foremost, is, is going to influence us <laughs> in a good way. You know, usually external influences are other people, but it's going to be like-minded energies that are coming in and resonating with us this month. I can feel it. My ears are starting to ring as I'm, as I'm speaking about it. <laughs> Our hopes and or our fears. This is definitely a fear that, you know, we'll get in our own way. You know, that we'll somehow sabotage this. That somehow this is going to be taken from us, you know, and it's weighing on the, the, the mind space. But with all of these, with the world and all of these aces, our own energy being the influence for us, standing in our truth, standing in our power, calling our Pisces energy and the ability to create abundance in our lives. Just straight up abundance. Look at all that. Look at all that shiny. <laughs> it's nothing dark. It's, it's a lot of growth and abundance. But all these coins and all of this... Um, it's all about trusting our intuition, trusting where spirit is guiding us this time, standing in our truth, allowing that to be the only influence over us. Very powerful place to be, Pisces. Very powerful place to be. But the sword's energy, this is the ten of swords. But the sword's energy itself is about how we internalize things in the mind, how we put the, the binds on ourselves. You know, this person can use one of these swords to free themselves. They have the ability to free themselves. But it's the mind that's telling them that they can't move. 
that they're stuck. But if I move, you know, it will get worse. This is a completion of that energy, though. We're going to come out of this. We may have a period where we go through this and may become, you know, something that arises on the subconscious here and there. But ultimately, let's see what our outcome is. <laughs> I don't understand. These two cards seem to go together. It's like we have all of this abundance and this energy, this completion can have us looking at ourselves like, you know, looking more at what we had to go through and the lack, you know, all the trials and tribulations and having that be a focus, but not all the growth that we have. I'm going to clarify those two because that is some blue right there. It was going so well for it to end in a place where we are feeling like <clears throat> we've had more loss than we've had gain, and there's so much to gain from this energy, from this card, I mean, from this reading. Can you clarify the uh, Ten of Swords here? What is this Ten of Swords and the hopes and or fears? Mm. You're afraid to shine. That's the self-sabotaging energy. It's like this person would rather stay in this, this place of martyrdom, this place that, you know, almost like we don't deserve it. Instead of allowing ourselves to step in fully into our light, we'd rather live in the shadows. And you know what? I almost didn't do this reading tonight because I would start it and then my kids would get loud and I would stop it. Start it and stop it. And it was just like, if you don't ever do this and look this done, you know, you will forever just be just lingering again on this YouTube page. Step into it. Step into the light. Shine light on what is keeping you stagnant step into the light face it that strength that lion energy this is also you know the lion some of us may be dealing with leo i know my husband is a leo and my and my moon is a leo <clears throat> but stepping into the light stepping into the sun facing our fears uh you know conquering those times that we, we give this doubt so much energy all right, let's clarify the um, Five of Cups. Let's clarify the Five of Cups. Seeing from a different perspective. And this energy as an outcome, like I said, we're looking at all of that uh, baggage that we carried in the very beginning, and we're not seeing all that we've actually been blessed with throughout this journey. Um, you know, this woman is focused on these, these cups that are on, on the ground. Like, I mean, she's just like torn up about it. However, she's not focused on, you know, she's still got something, you know. And being clarified with the hangman, it's like refusing to see our situation from any perspective other than, you know, this. And it, and it keeps taking me back to, where is this card? Where is this card? Okay. 
It's this burden. This energy that we come into um, 2021 feeling like we've already been through a lot. You know, but remember, this is a year of growth and expansion. We're growing, we're expanding what we're focusing on. Where our focus goes, our energy flows. So spirit is asking us to see things from a different perspective. By the end of the month, if we don't see the successes and the growth and the abundance coming in, this energy is lingering. It becomes then a blockage, a rock in a pond that the water then has to maneuver around. The energy has to maneuver around. The way to oppose this energy is to have some optimism, to <clears throat> bring our focus back to the abundance that is possible from the passion that we put into it, the energy that we put into it, it will grow. And having the patience when things need to slow down. With ourselves. We are human. As connected and as spiritually guided as we are, as spiritually connected as we are, we are still human. We need to rest. We need to connect with the self. We need to realign with the self. In order to see the growth that's coming in the near future. I'm going to pull us an Angels and Ancestors Oracle card just to round out this uh, reading to give us further clarification and information. And hell, for some of you, probably confirmation. January 2021. This information, clarification, and confirmation to carry with us throughout the rest of January We got the medicine guardian. Be open to healing information. <clears throat> the guardian angel, you are not alone. <laughs> And 
Wow, we got a lot of guardians with us. And the heart guardian. Uh, love and let yourself be loved. Oh my goodness. I've got to read the passage for these for you. Um, that's, that's wild. <laughs> I've never seen that before. All those... Of the, almost the same suit. Mm -hmm. Guardian and messengers. So we also we obviously have quite a few guardians and messengers surrounding us at this time, which is lovely. I honor it and I welcome it. Um, I hope you do as well. Um, so we have the medicine guardian on 108. for you as I read this passage. <clears throat> the message is listen to what is coming up within you and what is being shared with you by trustworthy others in your life. Pay attention to healing information. <clears throat> healing angels can help you heal emotionally, spiritually, and physically with their energy, but they can also direct you towards information that will help you return to wholeness. When this card appears, information is being revealed that can help you heal an aspect of your current situation, whether that be your health, relationships, or even career. So be alert for this. The Medicine Guardian has a healing wand which represents the capacity to heal with the power of will and desire, and a chalice, which represents returning to a state of wholeness, a state where your cup is no longer full, but overflowing with goodness. Mm -hmm. The emerald color of the card represents the healing rays of Archangel Raphael, and his healing angel. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. So, you know, when we're having these periods where we're having this come upon us, then uh, calling on that archangel would be um, highly advised. <laughs> You know, I love to hear passages like this and just experiment with that energy. You know, if I do get a reading like this and someone tells me that, you know, when you're feeling a state of lack or you're in this state of low vibrational frequencies, then do, you know, know that you have the power to call upon ancestors, angel guides, spirit guides. There's so much, you know, spiritual help that we have out here um, that we don't have to ever feel alone. And that is funny because that is definitely one of our cards. It's like we have absolutely no reason to ever feel like we're out here on our own or, you know, we don't have what we need when all we have to do is ask. My ears are, they were, that vibration just got so much higher. My spirit guides are very happy with that message. <laughs> they probably like, Big, that was for you. <laughs> that was for me. I, I hear that. Mm -hmm. And we have the um, heart guardian as well. <clears throat> it says the heart guardian. Mm -hmm. Welcome with open arms, opportunity to give and receive love. The heart guardian is an angelic energy that can help you call upon protection and guidance with all the issues surrounding the heart. Especially, this is especially the angel who helps you with all relationships, whether they be with yourself, your family, or even a romantic connection. She can enable you to move beyond any limiting fears um, about trust, discern 
whom to trust and to understand how you can move forward in a balanced relationship with that person. In this card, she is adorned with a sacred heart and draped in a red cloak to show her capacity to let love lead the way. I love it. I love it. So wear some red. You know. <laughs> this month, call upon that Archangel um, Raphael whenever we have those periods of being stuck. I'm just asking to help guide you and navigate you to this, um, to this world energy. How do you perceive the world? Accepting you. Ask for it. The opportunities will open up if you ask for opportunities. Ask for it. And, and see, and give it the patience and the time to see it manifest. And the last um, oracle card that we got was the guardian angel. You are not alone, remember that. You are not alone, you don't have to go through this by yourself, and it doesn't always have to be a physical being that you're talking to. You know, talking to your higher consciousness, calling on these spiritual guides. Is, is is a great way to, to further that energy. <clears throat> All right. The guardian angel. Watch for signs and remember from your and reminders from your angels and loved ones that you that they are close by. <clears throat> remember they are working hard to guide you. The guardian angel card shows the white feather that uh, became known as the guardian angel's business card. <laughs> that's so funny. That's, that's funny. I want to show you something. <laughs> Whenever what the white feather appears your life in your life and this card appears in a reading, it's a message to say, that the guardian angel and ancestor guides are particularly close at this time and are there to support you with their love. If you have asked for help in a particular situation, know that there is divine intervention in the works. Everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them all in all of their past lives and will be there in all the lifetimes to come. So know that you are not alone and are and will never be alone. This card is a large reminder <clears throat> that there is always help and support available to you. Your guardian angel is with you now and is here to aid you in all of your endeavors. In order to fully receive their support, first ask for it. And then surrender to the process. Did you just say that? Mm -hmm. Know that whenever, whatever unfolds will be for your highest good. Ask. Whenever you're feeling this way, understand that's the time. You know, as often as possible. But that's definitely a time to call upon that spiritual guidance, that spiritual protection. It's there for you. It's around you. And you know it. You wouldn't be coming to a tarot card reading if you didn't sense something, some type of connectedness to something spiritual, something unknown, something that you can't see but you can feel, especially being a Pisces. So, know that the help is available to you. If you want to see this abundance, if you're not seeing and resonating with this message, then call on your ancestors. Call on your spiritual guides. Call on all the spiritual help that is at your disposal and trust the process and see how it unfolds. 
to listen. So if things are growing and expanding and you are not delighted at what you're seeing manifest, then I would highly advise you to stop, put it all down, and reassess how much of it you need to carry with you, how much you can leave behind, so that we can avoid these energies as often as possible. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Pisces. It was a pleasure to read for you. If this message resonates for you, please hit that subscribe button and do hit the like button um, and leave me a comment if you'd like. Um, I do still read all of my comments and respond to all of my comments. And until next time, Pisces, life's tricky, baby. But stay in your magic like a wild moon child.